Welcome to First Steps to Al-Anon Recovery from Al-Anon Family Groups. This podcast will discuss a professional's concern for women who have been affected by a loved one's drinking. Valerie Montgomery holds a bachelor's degree in social work and a master's degree in counseling and human services. She is a licensed professional counselor and national certified counselor. Her private practice, Beyond Beautiful, is in Colorado Springs, Colorado. She specializes in counseling women. Valerie, thank you very much for joining us today. You're welcome, Pat. Thank you for having me. In your article for an upcoming edition of Al-Anon Faces Alcoholism magazine, you mentioned that sometimes you recommend Al-Anon for your clients. How do you know which clients might benefit from attending Al-Anon? Well, that is a good question. One thing that I like to consider is a person who's struggling with a primary relationship, whether it's a family member or a friend. The relationship is teetering because of somebody's usage of alcohol, and I like to work with all my clients to expand their support systems so that they can have several avenues to lean on when they feel tenuous or shaky in their own process. Well, in your magazine article, you also mention recommending Al-Anon to colleagues who have consulted with you about a client. Why do you think your colleagues can benefit from sending their clients to Al-Anon? Well, believe it or not, Pat, sometimes people don't know about Al-Anon, and I like to let my colleagues know how they can help their clients through someone's problematic drinking. They might not understand or know how Al-Anon can support their clients, and I like to make that suggestion because they might not have thought about it. Sure, and I know what you mean, that not everyone has heard about Al-Anon, so we appreciate you helping to pass the word. You're welcome. What is it about Al-Anon that you find especially compatible with professional counseling? In my work, I am the professional in a therapeutic relationship, and I have ethical and legal guidelines for how I can work with clients. And sometimes when they need a peer to be involved with them, someone who could talk to them for an extended period of time or be a resource in the middle of the night or someone who can come to their home. I'm ethically bound to the specific professional relationship, so it's not something that I can participate in. I really can't be personally involved in their everyday life. So that's where an Al-Anon support group and sponsor other members of the group can be a resource for them to call in a moment that they're not maybe emergency level, but they might just need a peer. Well, in your magazine article, you also mentioned that everyone in a healthy woman's life benefits from her blossoming. Can you tell us a little more about what you mean by that? Yes. Women are natural nurturers, and sometimes they look out for other people more than they take care of themselves. So part of my work with women is to help them understand and appreciate, accept, and celebrate who they are as individuals. And what this does, I tell my clients that they are the center of the flower. So when they start to understand themselves, take care of themselves, and be there for themselves, then everyone in their life naturally benefits. So in that way, each petal of the flower can be a different component. Maybe it's professional counseling. Maybe it's Al-Anon. Maybe it's taking on some new career or professional goal. Or maybe it's just not being so obsessed with somebody else's life so they can start to understand who they are. And it just naturally trickles down to everyone else in their life. Well, thank you very much, Valerie, for talking with us about how Al-Anon can go hand-in-hand with professional counseling. You're so welcome, Pat. I appreciate this opportunity. And thank you, everyone, for listening to First Steps to Al-Anon Recovery. You're welcome to listen to any of the Al-Anon Family Group podcasts at alanonfamilygroups.org. You're also welcome to attend a face-to-face meeting of Al-Anon Family Groups in your own community by clicking on How to Find a Meeting or by calling during business hours Eastern Time, 1-888-4-AL-ANON. Thank you for listening to First Steps to Al-Anon Recovery from Al-Anon Family Groups.